So what's up, y'all, man? We got who? Say your name. We got Lady Homie. We got YT. And Missy Maserati, you know. <laughs> Missy Maserati, all that there. Say it two times, okay? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so look, y'all, I, I got a couple of questions and shit because y'all music artists, you know what I mean? How do you feel about people outside of the city saying that Pittsburgh be biting Chicago's trends, Atlanta swag, and everybody else's, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that news, man. They just saying whatever. I'm different. I ain't in nobody's lane. I ain't in my own lane. Do you feel like it's true or? I feel like it's kind of true. Some, not everybody. I mean, because niggas ain't deep into the city as us, because we from here. So they don't even know the real rappers for real. I mean, yeah. Some of the niggas that just started rapping about like a couple months ago, I'll give it like five months ago, that's trying to sound like niggas from trying to rap. But if you really be in the city and you really hear somebody that's been rapping for a couple of years and really got that yeah, I mean cloud in it, yeah, I mean you gonna be like, oh, all right, well, that's just some some niggas you meet. I mean, when yeah, we I mean, ain't taking no by style, Pittsburgh got the best rappers. Period. Period. Though. American. I feel like at the end of the day, this is this is how I feel. Okay, I come from the Biggie and the Tupac and the Method Man and the Nas and the Jay Z era. So I come from real talk, you feel me? And at the end of the day, it's just like us creating a word and then other people say it. It's our culture. It's not, it's not, oh, it's from this state or from that state or from this city or from that city. You know what I mean? If, if you listen to Chief Keith all day, every day, I guarantee you're going to pick up his, his slang. It's the same way if you move from Pittsburgh and you move to Chicago or you move to Atlanta. You feel me? You're going to adapt to it because that's what you hear the most. Even if you might try not to, you're, you might have a little bit of a southern accent. Like I, I left Pittsburgh in 2000, in, in 99, in, in like November 99. And I stayed going until 2002. When I came back, everybody told me like, yo, you don't sound like you're from here. Yeah. You feel me? I had, a, I had a massive accent. And the way that I, I spoke, or the, you know what I mean, about different things, it would just come out different. Not purposely. It's just what I picked up along the way. I couldn't help it. Let people that's watching that might be from outside of the city, let them know some, like, some original hood slang from Pittsburgh. Um, let me see, man. I feel like uh, one thing for sure, yeah, smut. Uh, one thing for sure that that people, but but at the same time, people don't people say smut and don't even know what a smut really is. You yeah. feel me? I know what a smut is. Do you know what a smut is? A smut is when a when a boy is born and he gets circumcised. The piece of skin that's around the penis that's flappy, that's a, the, the piece they cut off, that's a smock. That's what a real <laughs> smock is. But it's Pittsburgh Lego, nigga. If we cut you and you're no longer a part of the circle, nigga, we cut you because you're a smock. Get you the fuck up out of here. Period. So that's where that so shit me? originated uh, from? Yes. Uh. Yes. Yes. The thoughty era. Uh, that, that's Chicago slang. Period. What we say? What, oh, what Pittsburgh be saying? Pittsburgh be saying. Little Smeezos. 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 Slop. Bowdy. Slop. Yeah. Slab. Yeah, slab. <laughs> <laughs> Call them what? Slabs. <laughs> and then you know the normal whore, hoe, trick, tramp type shit. So how y'all feel about rappers putting guns all in their videos and shit like? Well, I feel like who wanna answer that first? Yeah. I'ma let y'all answer to, that. We used to do that, but it's over for that I mean, now. I mean, like, I, I feel like but if you're already I mean, y'all answer that while you're already rapping about real quick. it, there's no point to really for you to prove that point in a video. Like if you're already rapping about it and people know how you get down, people know what you do, what's the point of putting guns in it? Like all you doing is drawing negative attention. Like, I mean Making yourself look bad for real, cause don't nobody, ain't nobody gonna sign nobody who's still too much stuck into the street life. Uh, cause it's gonna bring them problems too. For real. Well, I'm gonna disagree with that. I mean, cause like, I mean, Chief Keep got signed from putting dips in the video. I mean, it's all about what you say. It gotta be a hit. I mean, if it's a hit, they don't okay, care. Okay, let's let's put this I on mean, the table. And it can be props. Like that's a prop right there. 
Okay. This is a gun that you may see in a video. Looks very real. Has serial numbers on it. It looks real. If you see it in a video and they ah, oh, you gonna think that this motherfucker will shoot your mom in her face type shit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's plastic. You know what I mean? So I feel like how they be trying to put the system be trying to put our young niggas in jail for having guns in their videos, you feel me? But most of the time, the majority of the time, they buy props. They use props. It's not real. Feel me? Don't believe everything you see on YouTube. You feel me? It's camera magic, you know? That's just what it is, you know what I mean? I don't, don't want to discredit nobody or give nobody more credit than what they're due, but at the end of the day, I would just suggest y'all stop doing the fuck shit. Like, don't even with props. Like, just stop putting them in your videos. Stop using them because motherfuckers like like the judge and the DA and shit like that that's looking at these niggas and investigating them, they're not thinking it about props. They're thinking about the message that you're sending once your video drops. You know what I mean? If you look like you got all these guns and then you, you see a seven-year-old looking at your video on YouTube, what he gonna think? He don't know that there's fake guns out here. You know what I mean? So he's thinking of the, it, it, he's look, they're looking at the message. Period. Even when you do this type shit, you know what I mean? It's the message. Like, of course, when we when we spit our shit in our, you know what I mean? You know I ride around with them killers who be putting them work. Don't give a fuck about niggas you repping my drill little. Put them this mac on your shirt. You know what I mean? That type of shit right there is just... I made this song, but it really ain't cool. I ain't gonna laugh. It ain't cool to the younger audience. But at the same time, when you see people like Chief Keith get millions of dollars off of getting on motherfucking uh, World Star, and you see Hardo getting on motherfucking World Star because of these videos with a million guns in them, what do you think the younger niggas is gonna do? Now they try and find joints to put in a video so they could be the next come up artist. It just is what it is. How y'all feel about artists that got skills and all that shit? They talented as hell, but they don't live the life that they rap about. Man, I feel like it's broken. I mean, I feel like if the song's hot, I'm gonna listen to it. That's how I feel. I mean, I Straight up. Off. I mean, how you lived in the past is all about now. Where you at now? Man. Making, you know, making what everybody want to hear. Because if it's hot. Niggas gonna pick it up regardless. It don't matter. You might have a little, little like a little audience talk about it, you know what I mean? But so your fan base, if you got a fan base off that one song, then it really don't matter what a couple people think. Because you already popping. I don't know. From back in the day to now, niggas used to spit real life bars. But the the people, this is the thing. The game changed when they came out with NWA. When N.W.A. came on the scene and they started making gangster rap, it changed the games, it changed the rules of the game. When you seen No Limit come out with the tank and, and motherfuckers start booming that gangster shit, that's what changed the rules of the game. So now, we don't know. You could have gold fronts in your mouth and a million dollars sitting on your table. We don't know if that's really the paper off your gum wrap or if that's really the motherfucking money you bought online to put in the video. We don't know if that shit's real or not. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You know, you know if you live in real shit or if you ain't. But if your fans is loving your music and you got all these views and my fucking labels is contacting you, then keep doing what you're doing, man. Don't worry about what nobody else think about you. Do what you gotta do. Like it, it just is what it is. Period. What would you say the difference between Dicky and the supporters? Getting all up in niggas' pictures. <laughs> Getting all up on stage with everybody every time they perform. <sighs> now I mean, sharing all they shit all the motherfucking time, nigga. What what what'd you call that, dick eating? Yeah, that's dick eating. No, like, I say I say dick eating is somebody. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't banging with you before you got signed or before you got popping. Yeah, you know I mean, and now they on your bad way and all your inbox. Can I get a jam? Bitches is like, they ain't want you before when you was broke, but now they want you now. Like, can we go out to Benny Hanna's? You like, nah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? That's a dick eater. Yeah, you know I mean. Well, you made that. That's that's a very good point. Yeah, that's a good definition for dick eating. Supporting is different. I feel like supporting is going to niggas shows. 
when they when they got shit. Even if you're not on the roster to perform, and you're just going, you know what I mean? Like how you do, Smug. When you go and you just take footage and you get a motherfucker's little interview or something real quick before they hit the stage and shit like that. Like when you do shit like that, that's support. When when somebody come out with a with a clothing line, like you know what I mean? Like we got we got a lot of trap gear. You know what I mean? When we when we do shit like that, we we buy niggas clothing. You know what I mean? That's supporting. We ain't dick riding a nigga. We've been cool with Black Jay for years. But when he started to really come out and, and do his, his clothing line and his shit and really let the world hear that he's really hard, we going to ride for the nigga. Like, that's just what it is. Shout out for anybody Jay. that's coming out of my city. Anybody that's from my city, you know what I mean? If you really starting to get that club, we're going to support you. Mm-hmm. Because we're going to want the same in return, you feel me? Why? Right, well, say your name and give me a shout out. Smug yes, TV. Y'all already know, man. Shout out to Smugs. Y'all already know, man. Shout out Smug, YT. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Homie L. Dot. Shout out Smug TV, PBE, and Homie Gang, man. Rest in peace, my nigga Jig. Y'all already know what it is. Free the Wolves, that I mean. Free all my niggas, man. Y'all know what the fuck type Ooh. time we on. Period. Rest in peace, G. Truck, that I mean. We, a lot of people put their pain in their music and a lot of people got their pain behind their ass, but y'all motherfuckers don't see it. Y'all just see what we coming out with in this music shit. So keep riding for us, man. They got a video on YouTube right now uh, called Oh Ha. Go check that joint out. Uh, they got a new video. What's the name of the one that y'all just did? The Jig Life. Yeah, the Jig Life video. That's about to drop. The fucking preview did like five bands already. Know what I mean? So then I got my own um, video that just came out, the the come and get me video. You know what I mean? We uh -huh. we we working. Just know that we working, and we open to working with people too. So if y'all want to get on collabs and shit, you know what I mean? These is my sons right here. You feel me? That's my wolf. But these is my sons right here. You know what I mean? So we we're open to working. Like that's what we do. We ain't out here charging motherfuckers an arm and a leg for shit, but. Now, I mean, we, we definitely, y'all gonna put some bread on the table, but we wanna work with motherfuckers. Like, we open the work. Let's get this money, man.